and welcome to Firestorm Appearance Biddy Series. I'm FS Teresa, and this lesson covers how to wear items that you've either purchased or received as gifts. The first two lessons dealt with wearing things that were already in your inventory. This lesson deals with wearing things that you acquire, and this can very drastically and dramatically change your appearance. I will not cover how to shop or unpack, just how to use the items once you've already acquired them and gotten them into inventory. When you get new stuff, there are different places that Second Life might put them. They will either go in the default folder for the object type, like body parts, clothes, stuff like that, or they'll go in the objects folder, or they may have their own special uh, folder. When you purchase something, it frequently comes in the objects folder and needs to be unpacked, but we're not going to cover unpacking in this lesson. In today's case, I have a pair of shorts and two tops that are system clothes, so they're in the uh, clothing folder. I have a necklace, a necklace, excuse me, named Ruby Tri Trio Necklace that's in the objects folder, and I have a nice hair that came in its own folder. You will notice that none of these objects show in the My Outfits uh, section yet because we haven't assigned them to any outfits. It's important to know that things can be in your inventory without being in the outfits. They only go in the outfits when you put them there. If you have a large inventory and you have trouble finding things, there's a window that will help you. It's called the Recent tab. It could be very helpful. Uh, it hides all the older stuff and shows only the stuff you acquired since your last login. All right, on to our appearance. Let's start by changing our hair. The first step is really easy. Detach the hair you're wearing. Either right-click on it and select Detach, or find it in the My Outfits folder and detach it from there. Next, we're going to have to put on the new hair. So find it in inventory. In my case, it's called, it's got a real long name, it's called FH2 Rig Mesh Hair Browns. Juanita. Uh, right click it and select add. And as you can see, the look is very different with the new hair. Note that even though hair is logically a body part, Second Life usually considers it an object. This is because most mesh hairs these days are created from mesh, which is an object, rather than from the Second Life body part. Uh, and that's why Second Life thinks it's an object. In this case, there's also a HUD that comes with the hair, so let's wear that as well. Uh, it's called FH2 slash hyphen HUD hyphen Browns hyphen Juanita. It's in inventory. Right click it and select Add. HUDs will usually let you change the texture of an item, uh, though they can be used for other things as well. Um, in this case, the HUD gives us several shades of brown hair to choose from. Select the one you want and left click. You can cycle through all the textures and see how they look and decide which one you like the best and want to wear. Once you've chosen the texture, you don't need the HUD anymore. You can detach it. Now, I did a bit of shopping and I got some jeans and a top. They're in two folders, Coco Gift Boyfriend Jeans Teal Blue and Petite Mort Cream Embroidered Peasant Blouse. You will notice that both of them come in multiple sizes and that both have their own alpha. Generally, most of what's available these days in Second Life for system avatars comes in the five standard sizes. Uh, sometimes it also comes in fit mesh. And they will usually, almost always, have an alpha to keep the body parts from sticking out in the wrong places. I need to insert a word of caution here. Expensive mesh bodies have become so common that a lot of clothing designers have stopped creating clothes for classic or standard avatars. The products just contain mesh clothes for the four or so most, most popular mesh bodies. So before you buy something, get a demo, try it on, and make sure that it's something your avatar can wear. Look for an alpha. If there's not an alpha in it, it's probably not something you're going to be able to wear. Now let's change from the dress to the pants and top. First, we need to remove the clothing, the alpha that we're wearing. 
Then we need to add the new alpha and the correct sized item. You may need to experiment with the various sizes until you detect which size is best for your avatar. As it turns out, my avatar looks best in the small, or S size, so that's the size I wear. So I'm going to go to my outputs, my outfits folder, and I'm going to remove Bitsy Dress Alpha and Bitsy Red Pencil Dress. Then I'm going to go to the Coco Jeans folder in Inventory. I'm going to find the Alpha and the size S jeans. Then I'm going to go to Petite Mort folder, and I'm going to find the size S embroidered top and its alpha. Now we need to save the outfit. So we already know how to do this. We're going to hit the Save, on, save As button on my Outfits tab, give it a name, and I'm going to name this Pants and Embroidered Top, and then I'm going to press OK. Now we have our new outfit in My Outfits. As you can see, it's a very different look from what we had in the library items. There's a wide variety of outfits that are available in Second Life, both the free ones and ones that you can purchase. This variety allows you to customize your avatar so you can look unique and distinctive. OK, but there's one more thing that we need to cover, which is system clothes. Most new to Second Life uh, folks will have classic or system avatars, and uh, most of the clothes available to us is going to be mesh with alpha. But there are still some system clothes out there, and they work differently for mesh clothes. So let's talk about them briefly. You add mesh clothes, but you wear system clothes. Detach mesh clothes, but you take off system clothes. Uh, alphas hide system clothes the same way they hide body parts, so you can't wear an alpha and still see the system clothes that are under it. I have a, uh, a system workout outfit, which is pink shorts and a white top. Uh, the, they're named uh, Ziz Be a Pants and Ziz Be a Shirt. Now, it's not enough just to put on the shorts and top. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and you're going to see that um, can't really see anything. So I've just put on the shorts, and I've just put on the white top, and you can't tell that they're on because the mesh clothes is covering it. So now we need to take off the mesh clothes. We know how to do that, right? We uh, can right-click and select Detach. And we've still got those alphas, and they're still hiding most of the new clothes, although you can see a small strip across the belly. So now we need to um, take off the alpha as well. And when we do that, the system clothes become visible. You won't be able to see them properly while the alphas are there. And there you have it. You can now wear gifts or purchased items, and you can use texture, texture change HUDs. When you purchase something, do remember that not all outfits are for all avatars. Use the demo to assure that the outfit you want to get is compatible with your avatar. You now have a lot of tools at your disposal for creating a unique look with your outfit. You can also change your shape, your skin, your eyes, etc. to further customize your look. But we're going to have to cover that in another lesson because we just ran out of time.